How's it to you, be family? Welcome to yet another episode of our weekly videos. You see the thumbnail, you clicked on it, so you know what we're going to talk about today. So let's just get into it, yes? Let's go. This is the sound call by Anchor Q20i wireless noise cancelling headphones. Now I love sound call products, we talk about them a lot on this channel. But usually when we talk about overhead headphones, we usually talk about the gaming ones in this channel. So this is going to be a first of many. Okay, let's talk specs a bit. Some of the specs include uh, hybrid active noise cancelling, 14 millimeters dynamic drivers for thumping bass, high res sound, 40 hours active noise cancelling playtime and 60 hours music playtime. So this would mean you get 40 hours when you're using the active noise cancelling and you get 60 hours without it. Soundcore app with customizable EQ, transparency mode and connects the two devices simultaneously. So you can connect this with your, connect your phone and your tablet at the same time. But you cannot listen to both of them at the same time. So you gotta pick which one you wanna, wanna listen to. Let's pop this open and uh, let's see what it looks like, shall we? Yes? Let's go. All right, so when you pop it open, this is what you get. Um, we've got the manual here. You know how I feel about manual, guys. Read your manual. You've got a USB Type-C charging cable here. And we we'll have a 3.5 millimeter aux cable. Um, in case you decide you don't want to use the wireless connection, it becomes a wired connection for you. So you've got the option, that's good. And this is the Soundcore Q20i wireless noise cancelling headphones. This is nice. Very nice. Okay, just looking at it, first of all, something I like. I like the fact that you're able to fold it into a little, to a compact size. This is really good. Sometimes you don't want to have these headphones around you or on you and you cannot fold it. It becomes too bulky. But as it is right now, you can fold it into a little smaller size and maybe put it in your bag, in your pocket, wherever it fits. But this is good. Just looking at this, that is a good design. I like that. All right. Okay, let's expand it out. Let's expand and see what it looks like. Okay, okay. All right, let's stretch this out and see because sometimes some people complain about the fact that some of these headphones, they cannot fit over their head because maybe their head is too big or maybe they did not consider the fact that um, you know different size of head and then they make little headbands and people can fit but from what i can see here this should be able to fit anyone it should fit nicely i we'll have the slide out adjustment ends here so this is cool i like this it doesn't feel like fake like like cheap plastic uh, they use cheap plastic for this no it's a nice matte finish not shiny i like that too okay uh, let's talk about the headband a bit yeah okay this feels like uh two sheets of metal uh with the with the pu leather as people call them pleather that they use to wrap this and some foam here not so much of it. I wish it was more of it though because I, I guess it would still be comfortable but it would be nice if there was more of this. But okay, all right, all right. Let us not stress out over little things. Okay, I like the design though. I like the fact there's a lot of mobility here because there are little joints around that you can actually turn things. There's a wide joint here and then there's another joint right here that you can turn uh, uh, at 90 degrees. So this is really cool while you can turn them the the y joint in and out so this is this is nice it's a lot of mobility it's a problem sometimes when you have headphones and everything is just stuck you cannot move them you can't do anything sometimes you can when they can't they don't sit properly around your ears if there's no mobility around the joints so this is good uh here for controls we have a few pots we have the the 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, pot right there and we have the charging pot next to it uh, we have the noise cancelling button here so I guess you push it in and out to activate it or to deactivate it. Here we go. The 
plus or minus buttons are usually increase and decrease buttons and we have the on and off button here in the middle that's cool uh we have earphone holes we have uh, sorry mic phone holes almost everywhere but i'm guessing these two are the mic and this one here is probably uh um uh, what's it called now um charge indicator yes yes all right on the other side the controls are on the left side so the right side is just free nothing there nothing crazy and we have a mic here okay let's talk about the earmuffs um quite soft leather so uh there'll be no sweating around your ears it's soft uh the the earmuff hole here is not so large so if you have large earlobes i'm sure you're gonna have problems with this but since this is soft maybe it's not gonna be much of a problem for you okay we'll see how it fits and in here we've got the specs and if you can see that there yeah there all right okay let's do a little fit test let's see how comfortable this is when we put this on okay let's go all right it's quite comfortable okay there's something here that i just noticed um maybe because it's the size of my earlobes or something because mine are rather small it fits nicely in the, the ear hole here fits quite comfortably so i don't have anything uh against my my earlobes it's very comfortable when you put it around um it's not very tight when you put it on but it's it's tight enough to keep it on your head and you can shake your head it's tight enough but it's not you know there's not that vice grip holding your head so yeah that's so that's good that's good okay quite comfortable on the top too so that's good yeah i suppose because um because there's a lot of mobility on the on the ear cups you can actually really cover your ears and it keeps a tight seal around so yeah that's good let's try to pair these and see how easy it is to do let's go all right um let's pair these and see how easy it is to do first of all to turn it to pair we have to turn it on first and we have to hold this for three seconds and it comes on with the blue light right there and it immediately enters into pairing mode so let's go to our bluetooth function here and we search for it right there q20i and it's paired simple simple and easy okay don't have to do much just switch it on it immediately goes into the bluetooth pairing mode you go to your bluetooth settings and then you pair it very simple okay let's move on all right um let's look into the app and let us see the kind of features you have first of all let's go to the app and search for it uh let's add a device searching searching there it's found it the sound called q20i and it's it's paired already it's got the app all right uh let us see what functions they give here let's go wearing guide all that we, we got that we got all that all right let's see here um First of all, we have the noise, the ambient sound is a noise cancellation feature, the normal and the transparency mode, nothing crazy. Uh, let us go to the settings here and see. Uh, we have dual connections, this is how you can connect uh, two devices, it's already active here. So if I want to connect another device, I just press maybe, I click on the connect new device, it will search for it to pair the second device. Okay. That's how you go about that. All right, uh, now firmware update must be fine. So let's take this back. Uh, sound effects, let's see. Okay, we have just two options here, the default bass booster and the custom EQ. So mostly you will go to the custom EQ and if you use a lot of uh, audio devices, you know some people are very, very particular. That's the word I'm looking for about the EQ settings they use for all audio devices that they have to connect. So if you know yours, you can just fit it in. If you do not know yours, have fun, you know, searching for what what you you would like the ear for the sound like. Just go through it, push them and pull them and do all that stuff, and you would get to till you get a sound that is you know you like. All right, um, so if you look at the app, there isn't much to it, just the def default sound and the EQ settings. At least they give you option to 
set up your own equalizer settings and also to move from transparency mode to the normal mode to the noise cancellation so there really isn't much to it especially when it comes to like the controls and all that stuff so if you want to work this the controls you have to look through your manual you do not have the option of all that to set what you want it to be on on the app you you cannot do all that uh mostly because it's a it's an overhead headphone and it's not it's not a earbud so yeah anyways look through your manual you see all how you can uh work your headphones and how you can set it up to fit what you would like um let's do a little sound test let us see what it sounds like and then i'll get back to you let's go a few minutes later uh, so yeah um after listening to it for 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 some time this is what i think uh this is just we're just listening to it right here after unboxing and everything first of all good sound is sound core um not dirty sound it's not it's not um distorted very clean sound everything seems to be quite on the level um one thing I don't I, I don't quite get is the bass. The bass is not thumping like like the set and not the box is a thumping bass. It's not really thumping, and that's when you're using the bass up option. If you switch off the bass up option, then you get a little clear flat sound that comes out, and everything is balanced, very very balanced, very breezy, nice nice clear sound. I like the the filtration of the of the sounds. I like the fact that it is all very filtered. That's the way I will use. That's the word I will use. Filtered sound. It is quite good. I like that. Um, uh, it's decent. Uh, the 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 sound quality for me, it's it's okay. It's not crazy crazy good, but but it's okay. It's something I will compare to like a like a budget sound when it comes to the earbuds. Just a bit. Otherwise, it's it's quite a good sound. Another thing that I noticed also is the noise cancelling. When you activate the noise cancelling, you still get a little bit of the outside noise. Maybe I'm not really getting a proper seal around the ear with the with the earmuffs, but a little bit of it still seeps in. But when you turn on the transparency mode, then you hear everything else, or you play on the normal mode. But on the active noise cancelling, you feel that you you feel that little seal that that's that's that pressure that comes around your ear when you activate the active noise cancelling but a little bit of the sound still seeps in because uh, a few times I'll click my fingers and I can still hear from the outside no, outside sound so yeah not enough to drive you crazy not enough to make you feel a type of way about it but it still comes through okay yeah all right uh, I'm gonna use this for for some time and then I'll come back and really let you know exactly how I feel let's use it for a few days let's see how it is all right, let's summarize. I'm going to break this down into three sections. And one is going to be the design and build quality. And two is going to be the features and performance. And the third one is going to be a user experience. So let's talk design and build quality. It has a very good design. I, I like the way it's designed. You can actually fold it and maybe put it in your bag or your pocket or whatever it is you want to transport it in. It does not come with a couch with a carry pouch but still you're able to fold it and just you know make it compact. It's not something heavy and bulky. So that's a very good design. Uh it, there's still clutterness in the design of the whole of, of the headset. And by clutter I mean sometimes you see some headsets are designed with stripes and, and edges and all that stuff. No, it's just a simple smooth one even color matte feel design very easy now let's talk comfort it's very very comfortable when you put it on it's super lightweight it is not heavy when you put it on and you start feeling like there's something on your head it's rather lightweight uh when i was looking at the headset i thought it would be better if it had more foam to it but it doesn't really make a difference when you put it on you don't feel any pressure on top of your head and talking about pressure you don't feel that vice grip thing that you feel when the headset is too tight and you put it on you don't feel that vice grip thing grabbing your head no it is very comfortable it's 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 it the the grip is tight enough to 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 keep the headset on your head so when you make movements it doesn't fall but it's not it's not so tight that you feel like you're having a headache or someone's just grabbing your head no none of all that 
it is it is a very good design i like that i like the fit i like this got a, enough allowance to fit any size head doesn't matter the size of your head it will fit so you can you can use this so i really like that part of the, of the headset the great design and build quality uh it doesn't seem like much but i think a lot of thought went into just building it and also the location of the of the controls now if you follow my channel you know that when i review um uh, gaming headsets i always complain about putting controls at the on under the ear cup because i find it a bit uncomfortable you have to tilt your hand this way just to control your headset and sometimes most times you miss and then you press the wrong button or something but if you have it on the inline control then it's easier but since this is a wireless headset i can understand the controls being there and i like the fact that it's on the right side and not on the left side so that's 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 also a good thing for me so yeah build quality if you ask me i say very good very good if i was to grade the build quality and the, and the design the design and build quality if i was to grade that i would grade it uh seven out of out of ten am i being fair yeah maybe an eight out of ten all right let's talk features and performance now good quality uh sound the sound for the from this is actually quite good it's not bad but it's not it's not great either it's not like a wow an exceptional sound good filter sound uh great separation of sounds it's, it's always all that is good but it's not outstanding it's something that you would just get from a regular uh mid-range headset or maybe a budget headset so it's not an outstanding but it is good enough right now um uh the noise cancelling is also good enough but for me it's not it's not absolute i use the word absolute because uh uh secondly english is my second language but anyway i'm using the word absolute because uh it, it doesn't completely keep out noise noise from the headset you still you still hear a bit of of noise coming through i don't know if that's the i don't know if it's because you don't get a complete seal from the earmuffs or something like that but i have used other headphones other overhead headphones that the noise cancelling is 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 great but this one is it's okay but it's not you know you don't completely keep out sound so i don't know if maybe it's the earmuff thing or maybe it's the is the feature thing i don't know but whatever it is it does not keep out a sound completely so it will reduce the number of the amount of sound that comes in a lot but not completely yeah so yeah i think the app needs more work um if you create an app please understand that you are trying to give people features and you're trying to make people have options when it comes to using the the, the device you cannot create an app for us for us to have just two options of sound and that's it there's no need for the for, for if you're going to create an app there's no need for that so yeah if you create an app for a device understand that you're trying to give people options options being the operative word options to use that device now this only has two options when it comes to sound the regular sound and the eq sound okay yeah maybe with the eq you can adjust the the the, the equalizer the way you want but that shouldn't just be it it should be other things so you can do with the headphones so with with the app all you can do is is re change your your noise cancelling option switch it off and on or or, or adjust the eq settings and that's about it but it doesn't seem like a lot of options to me so i think the app needs more work create more options that's what i think all right let's talk user experience and this is like everyday use i found that i, I got 36 hours for using the active noise cancelling and 55 hours not using the, as the the noise cancelling just regular play time now i don't know if it's the way i used it because that could also be an option because i listen to things on high volume and things sometimes because this particular headset does not really have a, a whole bass thing but we'll get to that so i had to increase the volume so that i could actually enjoy the sound that i want so yeah so maybe it's the way i used it but if if maybe you use it on an average level probably you'll come to the same time that is given on the box at say like 40 hours and 60 hours it's 40 hours with the active noise cancelling and 60 hours without so I, I suppose they might be correct now bluetooth connection 10 meters as always 
yeah anything past that you get a horrible sound now call and clarity now this is the part that actually surprised me a little bit i actually expected it to suck but it did not suck it's actually a fair sound people can hear you you can hear them it's it's quite clear I, like i said earlier on i really expected it to suck but no it did not really suck so yeah that's a good thing i suppose now let's talk value for a minute um this cost 1099 rands that's about 61 us dollars so uh if you compare the performance to the price i would say it's it's kind of fair because uh that is a price for a mid-range or maybe a budget a budget headset or, or mid-range headset so yeah i would say the price is it's kind of fair so yeah you get what you pay for now, if you've watched the video up to this point, I want to say thank you for sticking with me to this point. Now, I know it's hard for people to watch videos all the way, but thank you so much for watching the videos all the way. Uh, what I want you to do is to please like and subscribe to the channel, number one. And number two, please leave a comment in the comment section. If you don't like the video, say so. If you do like the video, say so. Don't just be quiet and watch the videos. It's I need to know if maybe there's something I need to improve on. If you don't like the video, you don't like the way I approach these things. So yeah, say something to me. Let's let's have a conversation. Okay? And until next time, take care.